Welcome to Mickey's Study Circle channel. In this video, we shall see how to do the computer drafting of the orthographic projection of solids using the Solid Edge software. In this problem, we have a cone of 50 mm base diameter and 60 mm axis length resting on HP on one of its slant generators. We need to draw the projections when the axis of the cone is inclined to VP at 30 degrees. So if you look at the problem, we can understand that the type of solid given to us is a circular cone. So it is having a circular base and there are slant generators from all the points of the circular base so this is what is a cone and the diameter of this particular base of the cone is 50 mm and also it is having a total axis length of 60 mm so with this data we need to understand that it is also resting on the hp on one of its slant generators so it is not the axis but one of its slant generators is resting on hp so here the condition is not either the edge or the corner because it is completely a circular base and also with respect to the vp it is the axis which is inclined at an angle of 30 degrees so we need to observe that the word axis is not accompanied by the word appears to be inclined so it is a beta angle problem so we need to construct the beta angle because we are going to consider the axis as the parameter which is inclined to vp at an angle of 30 degrees so with this input now let us see how to construct the solution for this so let us begin by selecting the line option and drawing a continuous line of thickness 0.18 mm and annotating that line as the xy line let us also annotate the planes as vp and hp where the front and the top views are recorded now let us draw the top view of the cone so the top view of the cone will be a circle of diameter 50 mm and let us construct that by using a line of thickness 0 0.50 mm so we are going to draw the circle so we can just enter the diameter or the radius so the diameter is 50 so this is the top view of the cone which is having a circular base so in order to get the projections, we are going to consider around 8 points on the circumference of the circle. So we can do that by dividing the circle into 8 equal parts. So select a continuous line of thickness 0.13 mm and let us first draw the vertical and the horizontal projectors that is the diameters of the circle passing through the center point. And also let us construct the diameters at the angle of 45 degrees on both the sides and then let us use the extend to next option and extend the radii to get the vertical diameter and also the diameters inclined at an angle of 45 degrees so these are the end points which is lying on the circumference of the circle so let us annotate this so let us consider this point so the first point is the point a followed by the second point which is the point b c point d point e so a e is the horizontal diameter and next we have got the other points f g and h so the gc is the vertical diameter whereas dh and also bf is the diameters inclined at an angle of 45 degrees from the center point of the circle so we are going to construct these points on the circumference so which is helpful for us to construct the front view also or the or the other views in the uh, respective positions of hp and vp so now let us draw the vertical projection lines to get the front view of the circular cone so from the end points intersect the xy line So as per the problem statement, the cone is resting on one of its slant generators on HP. So what we have done here is we have selected the front view of the cone and ensured that it is rotated in such a way that it is resting on one of its slant edges or the generators that is O dash and A dash. So as you can see here, it is resting on one of its slant generators O dash and A dash. 
so we shall select the front view of the cone and then move this towards the right hand side of the xy line and then keeping the point a dash as the first point of reference and o dash as the second point we are going to tilt until it is touching the xy line so this is the second position so now we are going to complete the top view of this position so let us take a line of thickness 0.13 mm and draw the projection lines from each of the points itself so you can select ellipse by three points so first let me select the major diameter of the ellipse that is this point and this point and then any one point of the minor diameter so i can just select this point that is uh, the point uh, e correct so this completes the top view of the cone when it is resting on one of its land generators so select the ellipse and make it a thickness of 0.50 mm so now let us take the line option so from the apex do not make it a tangent if you make it a tangent to this point you can just see that a part of the line is going to go inside the ellipse so just drop it at the outermost edge of the ellipse so even this line should be having a thickness of 0 0.50 mm similarly let us select the line option 0 0.50 mm so from the apex again here you will get the tangent symbol if you just do this so do not do this part of the construction you should not draw a line intersecting this end point so just drop it at the first point of contact to the surface of the cone so this completes the top view of the cone so you can just see that it is resting on one of its land generators o and a so now let us do the annotation so this is the apex of the cone which is o and here we have got the point a so you have to be careful here because it is resting on one of its land uh, generators and the point a dash will be towards the left hand side so it is going to change its position so here it is towards the right hand side but here it is going to appear at the left hand side so you have to be careful while doing the annotations so this is the point a then we get the point b here similarly we have got the point c and this is the point d and this point is e this is f followed by g and h so gc is the major diameter of the ellipse and ae is the minor diameter of the ellipse so we require these points so that we are going to construct the inclination with respect to the vp so we shall also uh, consider one more uh, point that is you can just see here this will be a straight line so in the second position i need to get the point o o1 as the reference so what i'll do is i'll select the line option and from here till here i'm going to construct the line as broken lines so that i get the axis point o1 so here consider the thickness to be 0.13 So this is the point O1. So we have to construct the beta angle now. So what we can do is, we shall go for the line option again. Select a line of thickness 0.13 mm. So first draw a line of any arbitrary length. And the original length of the axis is 60 mm. Incline at an angle of 30 degrees to the VP as per the given condition. So from this end point of 60 mm line, let us draw the locus line. So this is the locus of O1. And now we are going to measure the axis that is from O1 to O, which is equal to 55.38 in its second position. So again, consider the line or uh, go for the arc by center point. So keeping this as the point of center, cut an arc which is having a radii equal to 55.38 mm so that it is going to intersect the locus of the point o1 from the first position so from the point of intersection of this locus and this arc connected back to the initial point o 
so this is the original axis length which is equal to 60 mm and the inclination is 30 degrees and this is the new axis from the second position and the inclination of this is 33 degrees so the beta angle is 33 degrees so we can also trim the projection lines here in the second position so which is not required for the constructions so whenever we are going to select the cone for the second uh, that is the third position with respect to the vp ensure that you select the inner rectangle also only then you'll be able to get these points to complete the projections from the top view to the front view so for time being let us just trim all these lines so that we are able to select only the cone with the inner and the vertical projection lines and we have also got the point of intersection so now we shall complete the front view of the circular cone so select the curve option and then let us start from the first point which is a and is on the xy line followed by the next point that is b and next point is c d e f g h and then back to the point a so this has to be the line with thickness 0 0.50 mm so with this we complete the front view of the circular base of the cone so now again select the line option of thickness 0 0.13 and then from the point a to the apex o we are going to join the line and similarly from the point o just ensure that you are going to draw one of the slant generators touching the outermost point of the circular base so with this we complete the front view of the cone so you can just see that it is resting on the xy line on one of its slant generators so now we'll complete the problem by annotating the front view so this is o dash and this is the point a dash and then we have got the other points that is b c d and e so this is b dash c dash d dash e dash point f dash g dash and h dash so now we also got the point o1 so for that consider a line of thickness 0.13 mm so now select the center line so from this point let us connect it to the axis point so this marks the axis of the cone so annotate this point as o1 dash so with this we complete the construction of the solution for the given problem statement so to summarize we have got a cone and the diameter of the circle which is the base of the cone is equal to 50 mm so you can just select either the horizontal or the vertical diameter and show the dimension so this is 50 mm and then the axis length is equal to 60 mm so it is resting initially like this and then in the second position it is resting on hp on one of its slant generators which is o dash a dash and then we have completed the front and the top views for this and in the next position he tells that it is having its axis inclined to the vertical plane at an angle of 30 degrees so we are going to consider to construct the beta angle problem and uh, so we are going to consider the construction of the beta angle which is equal to 33 degrees and then we select this top view of the cone move it towards this 33 degree line and then draw the horizontal projection lines on the vertical projection lines and then complete the front view of the cone <laughs>